This year's Detroit Pistons are currently one of the worst teams in NBA history, and just a few days ago they broke the record for the most consecutive losses in a row in a single season with 27. So, it's my job today, I'm here on NBA 2K24, and we're going to be doing a Detroit Pistons rebuild. Now obviously the main goal of this challenge is of course, you're going to get those free wing stop wings when the Detroit Pistons win. So the goal of this challenge is to win as many games as possible with the Detroit Pistons while rebuilding them. Now this is definitely not an easy task because Detroit Pistons, with their, no other true way to put this, they are awful. They are an awful team. But the thing is that they have a whole bunch of decent players on this roster, and I do think this is still salvageable. They're going to get a very good pick next year in the draft, so things are looking up somewhat, but I'm here today to hopefully make some changes to this roster. Now, I would love to keep Cade Cunningham for this video. Uh, Jalen Duran is incredible. It just He just needs to stay healthy. I think he's very good, potentially. Uh, Asar Thompson, when he was given minutes prior in the earlier part of the season, he was doing great, but unfortunately, he's not getting any minutes right now. And I'd love to keep Jay and Ivy as well, potentially. But we'll see what happens. But Everyone else on this team, uh, they're gone. Like, I don't... <laughs> I think they're all gone. The most interesting thing was uh, Bohan Bogdanovich, a uh, team, they never revealed which team, but one of the teams offered three first-round picks for Bogdanovich, and the Pistons said no. Like, what are you possibly going to be doing elsewhere? Like, you're not going to get anything that much better than that. You take the three first picks for Bohan, and then you move on. So anyways, enough said about that. Let's try and go and get some wings. So, the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to obviously just <laughs> go through the trade finder and look to see what I can get. So, this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to trade Bohan Bogdanovich for Obi Top and trading second round pick. That doesn't really matter. Uh, just get a solid young player on this team and hopefully he can start because obviously Isaiah Stewart cannot start next to Jalen Dern. I'm going to flip uh, him for John Collins here. Right? And then I'm just going to move John Collins. I don't th I, I, John Collins doesn't really have a feature on this team in my eyes. So we're going to flip John Collins now elsewhere. Now here's what I actually do like here. Daniel Gafford is still under contract for a couple seasons. I think he can move and play the four. He was fine last year with Porzingis. So we're going to do this. Uh, it's showing Isaiah Livers. doesn't really matter. Get Landry Shaman, who we're also going to look to trade as well. So boom. We're making moves already. I mean, this isn't like... I'm not going to say like they're going to get like anything too crazy out of this. Um, but it is what it is. Um, let's see what else we can do here. Or we can get this Houston Rockets pick, which is actually a Brooklyn Nets pick. Which I don't think the Nets are going to be good in that time so I actually I really like this one we'll take on Jeff Green Jeff Green it doesn't really matter because we're all that's all about getting that pick we gotta boost up our draft capital here so next up uh, we still got Gafford on team which I do like uh, next up we're gonna take James Wiseman Jaime Haquez Jr. now how realistic do I want to make this team be that's the question we'll come back to that Mike Porter Jr. are not gonna get traded we could get this big Houston Rockets pick too from the Wizards of the Wizards of, it's a lottery protected pick. The Wizards are definitely going to be in the lottery. Shoot. Uh, we get Brandon Pojemski on this team. A uh, whole bunch of players. Or we could just go straight after Jaime Akis Jr. here, who's been playing absolutely incredible. And I think he, I think th this is the move. We're going to go and get Jaime Akis Jr. So now we still got plenty more work to do here. But the team's definitely looking younger. We got Kyle Lowry on team. I'm going to try and trade him at the trade deadline. This we trade as a Stewart to the Grizzlies. Get this first round pick from the Grizzlies. And that's really all that we're going to be doing right there. So let me get you the update lineup when I'm done. So here's what we'll be rocking. We got Cade Cunningham, Jaden Ivey, Asar Thompson, Jaime Akez Jr., and Jalen Duran. We also got Obi Toppin, Kyle Lowry, Daniel Gafford, and Marcus Sasser. Now, is this team good? No, but I actually do like this team. Definitely the young talent just in the starting lineup alone. Cunningham, Ivy, Thompson, Hakez, and Duran. I think it's pretty good. We still got Toppin, too. We'll look trade Kyle Lowry. We got Gafford and Sasser. So, I'm going to update you guys at the trade deadline. Hopefully, things are much better then. I'll see you guys at that point. So, we're currently here at the trade deadline. We're 13 and 37 now. Wow. Wow, we are doing a, a whole lot better than we were before, that's for sure. Racking up this one's 139 to 114 against the Magic. Look at this. Uh, maybe we're doing a little bit too good. Uh, let me check the uh, standings, because I do not want to be playing too well. Uh, we're still the worst seed. 
Uh, but I do not want to be playing at all uh, better than what we are. The Spurs are 6 and 45. We still got the chance. I don't want to be too good. So we might have to try and rest these guys a little bit. But I still want to see uh, potentially what I can do here with Kyle Lowry. Can I be traded for 17 days, unfortunately? Uh, so, fortunately, we're not going to be able to trade Kyle Lowry. That's fine. It's not the end of the world. The, the value for him wasn't too much. Obviously, here's someone I'd love to do. Monte Morris. You get a first-round pick from the Mavericks. Uh, just trying to rack up these first-round picks here. That's it. I don't really want to do anything else. I kind of want us to not play well. So, we're going to move Kyle Lowry. He's not going to get any minutes at all. Give Gafford some more minutes in here. Sasser some some to develop. And the legend, uh, Killing Hayes, will give him Kyle Lowry's minutes. That's it for us to season hopefully uh we don't play well i'll see you guys at that point but we're doing it with both asar thompson and rookie jaime has jr on the all rookie first team so that's very very good for us at the end of the season here we unfortunately won too many games i was literally putting Cade like and giving him not many minutes or so but we still won 28 games like we were doing like too good at the end of the year which i did not like uh but we were the 13th seed uh but this seemed like i'll show you right now it was Cunningham, Ivy, Thompson, Haquez, Duran. We still got Toppin, Gafford, Sasser. I mean, like, this is still, like, a good, solid beginning here. So, we'll see what happens. Obviously, we're just going to simulate the playoffs here. It doesn't really matter what happens here. Uh, the Pacers, if you look at there, they actually uh, beat the Celtics in the first round. It's the Nuggets and Sixers. NBA Finals with the Sixers ending up on top for this. And in the draft lottery, we end up with the sixth pick, which obviously isn't the best. But I did pick up multiple picks in the future, which hopefully should help us as well. And uh, the team, like obviously, that starting line is pretty solid. So just going to let them develop and hopefully things work out. I know we got guards, but Isaiah Collier is still on the board in this simulation. So we have to go with him at pick number six. Team player options, of course, we're going to accept it on Duran and Ivy. We're going to take on Jake Lavrio's contract as well he's just gonna be more a trade piece that i'll look to move on from here at the off season uh no qualifying offers to him we will send one to killing hayes uh because i do want to trade him top and we will send one out to as well because he was pretty solid 12 points a game last season for us so we got landry shaman on this team he's good as gone Let's see if i can find something that i like for the future of this team and yeah even just gonna miss two first round picks for landry shaman Yes, please. We're going to keep that. And that's also money off the books for us. Uh, Landstrom wasn't really going to be playing too many minutes for us. Still got Gafford. Um, Mitchick here, we're also going to look to trade because he's not really going to be playing for us. The Tim, the Jazz are offering us yet another first-round pick. So we're going to take that as well. Getting, getting all these first-round picks there. Mostly Tim Rose pick. But hey, we're going to take it. And Jake Lavria, uh, who I would look to trade as well. The Bulls are offering us a first-round pick. The Grizzlies are offering us a pick. But we're going to take the Bulls' first-round pick. We'll take on Terry Taylor. That's fine. So we're racking up these first-round picks here which is very good for us. We got Killian Hayes. We're going to just give him that contract. And then we're going to look to trade him as well. So we're at the player progression. Cade goes up three. We got Asar Thompson goes up four. Durham goes up one. Hakez two. Ivy three. And Sasser three. So look at this now. 86, 84, 84, 82, 81, 80. Got Obi Toppin as the 80 as well. We still got Gafford. Collier. First season, Killian Hayes went up one. Uh, Burks went down one. That's fine. We did uh, sign Jubangs for depth as well. This is the lineup for year number two. We got Cade Cunningham, Jane Ivey, Asar Thompson, Jaime Kez Jr., Jalen Duran as our starting five. We're going to have Obi Toppin, Marcus Sasser, Isaiah Collier, and Daniel Gafford out the bench. Honestly, I really like this team. Now, we're not going to win or anything this year, but look at that. Like, our for top seven players on our roster are all 80s overall. We still got Callier off the bench too and Daniel Gafford. I really like our odds here just in the future. Just got to keep this together here and hopefully things work out for us. So I'll see you guys at the All-Star break and hopefully things are going well. There's no other way to say this right now, but we were dominant. We were the third seed 
in the first half of the season. We went 34 and 16. We're three and a half games back behind the Cavaliers. Now, if you were a Pistons fan right now at this moment, and you saw next year that you were 34 and 16, I think you'd be pretty pleased with how well this fast of a turnaround things have turned out. So let me guys show you the stats really quickly as well. Kate's averaging 22 points and six assists a game this year. Star Thompson's averaging 14. Just got 11 rebounds, five assists, and two and two. So he's killing that three point percentage is not there, but that's all right. I was averaging 14 points a game. He's got five assists as well. Uh, Sasser's averaging 12 off the bench. We got Jalen Duran 13 and 12 a game. Uh, Gaffer's doing this thing off the bench. I mean, he's still playing pretty well. Hakez averaging 16, four and four. We got Isaiah Collier off the bench as well with 14 points. So things are definitely looking up for us. Now, do I really want to make a trade here? No, I mean, we got Cade, we got Sar. Hakez, I mean, just look at this young lineup right here. I mean, all these 80s, like this is our entire rotation here. We have all 80s and plus. I don't really see a point of making a move here because the thing is, we're going to be even, these players are going to progress even more uh, after this offseason. So I'm just going to let it be, uh, and hopefully things work out for us in the end. I'm catching you guys at the end of the season here, and uh, we'll see what happens. At the end of the season, Luka is your MVP. Uh, Lonzo is your sixth man here. And unfortunately, we don't end up with any of them on the All-NBA team, which does suck. Uh, no on the All-Defensive team either. Uh, but we do end up with Isaiah Collier on the All-Rookie First team, which is very good for us. I'm going to show you all the player stats too, because I do want to show you everything. As much as I possibly can, Cade led the winning scoring for us. He had 24 this season. Hakez was next with 15. Ivy had 14. Collier had 14 off the bench. Asari had 13 as well. So it was a very well-balanced scoring attack between all the players on the roster. Rebound department, Duran and Thompson led the way. Gafford had a lot as well. The assists, Cunningham, Ivy, Thompson, Collier did their thing. So it was all around a very well good effort for all of us. And at the end of the season, we went 57-25. We're five games back between the tied seeds uh first second between the pacers and the Cavs. so either way it was still an incredible season for all of us this year uh and something to look really forward to and honestly we should be even better next year because because they all did pretty well they're going to take an even more leap especially all these guys going into the second to third season that third year leap either way uh let's gonna simulate the playoffs here and hopefully things uh work out for us we're gonna be taking on the orlando magic here in the first round of the playoffs I don't really think we're going to win this year, so I'm going to simulate right through the round. But we do end up being them in five games, so we're going to take down the Cleveland Cavaliers in round number two. Uh, I'm just very impressed by this team right here. Uh, looks like this is the same Cavs team as usual. Garland, Mitchell, Mobley, Allen, Coro. I mean, it's still a very, very good team. Hopefully things work out for us. In game one, we're going to take game one. Uh, game two, uh, Ivy's fine. He's fine. We're going to take game two as well. Game three, we're going to take game three. Game four, a clean sweep of the Cleveland Cavaliers. Ivy's fine. We're taking on the first seed, Indiana Pacers. Let's see who they got. They have LeBron James. Oh, my God. The Pacers have LeBron James of all. They have Halliburton, Matherin, LeBron. Uh, this is a good team. I can't believe they have LeBron. Like, what? They have LeBron. Oh, my God. And game one. We're going to take game one, though. Uh, Gafford's fine. The game. We're going to take game two. Uh, we do lose game three to the Pacers. Gafford's still fine. We're going to lose game four. It's a 2-2 series here. Uh, game number five. We're going to lose game number five. That's not good for us. And in game number six, we lose to the Pacers. Dude, LeBron just took over. I, I can't believe the Pacers have LeBron. So we're going to submit the final playoffs here. The Indiana Pacers, we will win. Uh, finals MVP is Tyrese Halliburton. And LeBron retires as a Pacer. That's looking good for us. Hopefully things go well. I don't really see any changes that we're going to make in this offseason. I'll see you guys at the end. I mean, this team is absolutely stacked. Uh, I'll see you guys shortly. Uh, of course, we're going to accept the player options on Asar Thompson, Jalen Duran, Jane Ivey, Jaime Kess Jr., and Sasser. I see these guys are not making too much money here, which is definitely helping us big time. Qualifying offers. Of course, Cade is a free agent, but I have no worries about re-signing Cade Cunningham. He is going to be back here with this team. We're going to make a final run. Let's do this. 
play progression here. We got Cade goes up one. Thompson goes up two more. Ivy goes up as well. All these 80s. Hopefully things work out for us. I'm really hoping for. Let's see if I can make a trade here. Hopefully you can move this bench up slightly. Here's how things are looking. You're number three. Cade Cunningham. Jay and Ivy. I start Thompson. I make his junior and Jalen Duran as your starting five. We got topping off the bench with Sasser, Collier, and Gaffers. Same lineup. Things are hopefully going to be a little bit better for us this year. I'll catch up with you guys shortly. Headline right now, and we're 39 and 13 atop the Eastern Conference by three and a half games over the Cleveland Cavaliers. The Pacers are still doing incredibly well uh, with no LeBron James on the team. But hopefully things work out for us this season. Should get the player stats really quickly. Cade's still doing his thing. Uh, I don't know why I went to Burks and Bamba first, but Thompson still same stats. Jay and Ivy same stats. Sasser his points did go up slightly here. Durant you know same thing. But they're all doing so well. Very consistent. Jaime Kez took a leap this year up to 17 points a game. Isaiah Collier went up slightly with his points, but he did go up six and a half. He's also shooing 39% from three. Top is still doing pretty well the, i mean this team is really really good i'm just the overalls and everything like you know 89 88 86 86 85 like look at this like gafford is the worst one in rotation imagine having imagine like saying that daniel gafford is your worst player in your rotation that is pretty good so uh yeah um we're gonna just sim at the end of the season here I think all things are going to go well. And hopefully this year, I said that it was going to be three years. Hopefully this year is the year that we hold that Larry O'Brien trophy. Let's find that shortly. Iris Halburn is your MVP this year. We got Ace Bailey, Rookie of the Year. Nikola Topic is your Sixth Man of the Year. I think I actually drafted this guy. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just messing. Victor Roman Yama, Defensive Player of the Year. And Topak is your most approved player as well. Cam Thomas averaged 26 a game this year. Wow. Uh, no Cade on an all-NBA team, so that definitely does suck for us. But the thing is, though, it's fine either way. Actually, I saw Thompson made the all-defensive first team. He's an 88 overall right now. Let me get you the stats here again. This season here, Cade led the way scoring for us. He had 22. Haquez was next with 17. Ivy had 14. Collier, 13. Thompson, 13. Duran, 13. Sasser, 13. And top at 11, Gafford at 6. You know, just all incredible. 10, 5, 10 rebounds for Thompson and Duran. You know, assists, playing again ton of assists and at the end of the season we went 60 and 22 so we were the first seed this season here i love this uh we're playing so exceptionally well 124 points a game this year uh 52 rebounds 30 assists we shot 37 percent from three as a team that's really really good and um Fingers crossed here that this is the season. Hopefully things work out for us this year. That Thunder team's good. I'm still scared of the Pacers, but we're taking on Miami here in the first. Look at this. 89, 86, 88, 86, 86, 81, 84, 84, and 80 off the bench still. Like, we are, we have so much depth on this team. It's crazy. Taking on Miami in the first round. Uh, nope. Jimmy, it looks like. They still got a solid team, but I'm hoping things uh, work out for us. And Miami's going to take game one, and we're going to take game two. You never know here in 2K. I've lost plenty of uh, first rounds here, but hopefully, as you see right there, boom, we're going to uh, beat Miami in the first round. So we're taking on the Toronto Raptors in round number two. They got Zach Levine. They still got Scotty Barnes. Uh, they have a very solid team, but hopefully uh, we're... I think we're better. So game one, we're going to take game one against them. We will take game two as well. Game three, the Raptors will take game three. Sasser's fine. They're going to take game four, though. That is not good for us. Game five, we'll take game five. At big score. And we're going to take game six. So we're taking on now the Indiana Pacers in the Eastern Conference Finals once again. So let's see what happens. Uh, it's the Jazz and the Blazers out west. Pacers, they got no LeBron this year, but they did replace him with Kyrie Irving, bro. What in the world? They got James Wiseman, too? Man, he's been doing pretty good, actually, fam. That's crazy. In game one against the Pacers, we're going to take game one. So that is good for us. In game two, we're going to take game two. Game three, we do lose game three. That's fine. 165 to 104. Oh my god, we got Oh, that's crazy. Game number four. We're gonna take game four. So we're up three to one against the Pacers. And game five, we're gonna beat the Pacers. Moving on to the NBA finals. Isaiah Collier seems like he's fine. We got Shane Sharp finals MVP out west. Taking on the 
Portland Trailblazers, they got Simon Sharp, Middleton, Bridges, Aiden, Scoot. Oh, geez. This is a good team. This is a good team, but hopefully we're better. Game one. We're going to take game one against them. It's close to them, but we take game one. They're going to take game two, so it's now 1-1 one, one both ways. Game three, they're going to take game three, 135 to 128. And we end up losing. We're down 3-1 to one against the Blazers. No. No, 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 no. That's not good for us. So we're currently down 3-1 here against the Portland Trail Blazers. Let's go to SimCast. Hopefully things work out for us this season. You never know what's going to happen here in NBA 2K24. But it looks like we are pulling away here in this game. And we're going to take the win. 125 for us. Very, very good. We now move on to game number six. We get up to a hot start in the first quarter there. And it looks like they are coming back a little bit, but it's not going to be enough for them to come back. 150 to 98 in game number six. Wow, that is incredible. Uh, let's check the box score. Kate at 32. Either way, we now move on to game number seven. We come all the way back down from 3-1 against the Portland Trail Blazers. Can we come back, complete the 3-1 comeback just like LeBron did here? Well, it's a close one here, but in that second quarter, we start to pull away, and it looks like we will. 117-79. to The Pistons came back out of nowhere, and that is it. We are NBA champions. The fans of Detroit are getting all the wings that they want because we are NBA champions. Cape Cunningham is your finals MVP. So if you all enjoyed the video, please be sure to like, subscribe, for your content. Uh, it must be a happy time to be a Detroit fan. Look at the roster that we had, though. I can't believe I did this. Cunningham, Thompson, Ivy, Durant, Hakez, Sasser, Kali, her top and Gaffet as our main nine guys. Uh... That's very good, very good for us. Hopefully this turns out well. Obviously, I don't think Pistons are going to win in uh, three seasons from now. But hopefully they are better than what they're currently doing. So either way, I'll see you guys next time. And I hope you guys have a great day.